welcome to my channel. We are going to make another wall clock and the first thing you saw here was the measurements of the pieces that I'm going to use. First of all I'm going to take the wristwatch that I'm going to use for this one and I'm going to cut out this little hole here for the uh, watch face to uh, be in. I took the wristwatch apart before I started this so I don't show here how I did it but it's uh, kind of simple. You take off the back plate of the wristwatch and then you force this little dial out of it and then it falls right out to your hand and you can place the uh, little dial back into it again. I cut out this little middle piece of this part so that I could use my small mini lathe here and then I have the sandpaper on it and I'm just going to sand this inner part to the shape that I want. I sand all the parts that I made to make them nice and smooth. So, oh, oops, not good. I'm going to glue that together and this is the glue that I'm using for that. I glued the part together. I did give it time to dry before I continued. And now I'm going to glue the box for the clock itself together. Please just watch how I'm doing it because I'm having a hard time explaining. This bottom part were a bit too long for my liking so I just made a line and cut it into the length that I liked. I glue the bottom part to the clock and this little piece that I cut off, I'm going to glue that to the front of the uh, bottom part. I left the wall clock to dry so it was all hardened before I continued. And in the meantime, I was gluing this clock face onto the holder for the clock itself. I'm going to make a hole here in the side of this uh, cabinet for the clock so that this dial can be there. So I am first of all uh, drawing up where I want it and then I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut it out slowly and last I am going to sand it a bit so it's nice and clean before I glue this clock face into the uh, clock itself. Then I'm cutting two toothpicks into the lengths of the clock and I'm doing this to make some kind of um, embellishments on this little wall clock. I sent the parts that we made already and this little piece on the bottom part. I'm rounding the corners on that to make it look a little more neat. I want some more space at the back here for uh, exchanging the battery when that time comes. So I'm making this bow area here, cutting it out with my X-Acto knife and sanding it. Now I'm going to make the pendulum and I do that with a piece of a toothpick and some polymer clay. I'm using some silver Inca gold. That's actually pretty funny. It's silver, but called Inca gold. Anyway, I'm using some silver Inca gold to color this pendulum. Then I cut this pendulum into length and now I'm gluing it into the cabinet for the wall clock. I 
Then I glue the clock face onto the wall clock and I'm very careful with this so I don't glue anything that's not all supposed to be glued. Then I'm going to glue these decorative toothpicks to the side of the wall clocks like you see me do here. I took a tiny piece of wood that I could set here in between the sides of this place to keep the battery inside as it didn't want to stay in place without the help from this little uh, stick. I glued the top in place and I made this little decorative thing from the piece for that. I thought I had made a video part showing how I made this little top part but for some reason I didn't hit the record button. I'm using a few nail art decorations to decorate this little wall clock and that's all there is for that. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!